What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Victory Brewing Company, and they're out of Downingtown, Pennsylvania, and this is their Fruitful IPA. So on the side of the label here, they're calling this one an ale with a natural flavors. It comes in at 6.4% alcohol by volume, 25 IBUs at the time of review, and this bottle is just under one month old. Old. So I was in my local Wegmans grocery store earlier this week and I went to the beer section, went straight to the uh, mix six pack uh, section specifically, and uh, I saw two new seasonals from Victory, winter seasonals that is. And the funny thing is, they're both hop forward beers. We have this and their cold front, which is just a regular IPA. This is actually, I think, an IPA brewed with fruit, which I'll throw it out there. Um, you know, the whole natural flavors thing. Now on the side here, it says notes, and I'm reading this because I already saw this right up on Untapped on their um, uh, website. It says notes of peach, apricot, and subtle berry mix in this fruitful blend. These fresh and juicy flavors deliver an easy drinking IPA with light sweetness, a lush and pillowy mouthfeel, and crisp finish for hops, it's Eldorado and Amarillo. So, um, you know, you're seeing so many breweries brew with natural flavors and sometimes even artificial flavors. Uh, it seems like, you know, they're brewing this one with fruit or fruit flavor, whatever the case may be. It's kind of disappointing, but whatever. We're going to give it an honest review here. Uh, I do think it's weird that they're releasing, you know, two hop forward beers for winter seasonals, which is strange, especially since you did two. Like if you did one hop forward beer and then like a stout or something, cool, but like two hop four beers. I don't know. I picked them both up. I'm going to review the other one probably, I would imagine, uh, by the end of this month. So anyway, let's get it in the glass, see what we got going on. So this is not looking like your crazy hazy type of beer. It's a good old clear beer IPA, which I'm actually happy about, but it's an ale with natural flavors. So how happy am I going to be about it? I don't know. A little bit of a cheat there, as I always do. Anyway, yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that's clear beer. It's not like crystal clear. It's not like I can you know, see right through it. It's not like a lager or something, but it's definitely clear beer to some extent. Has a nice orange gold color, uh, very filtered. Uh, not a lot of carbonation, although this doesn't have the etching that pr uh, promotes carbonation. Has about a half finger of an off-white colored head. Plays the role of like an old school American IPA. Let's get a nose. They say peach, apricot, and berry, right? Definitely get the peach. I'm getting like a substantial like orange, tangerine, like citrus vibe more so than apricot. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I just went back and there's apricot. Wow, you know what that smells like? And I think it's the same thing for um, Ithaca. Ithaca's apricot wheat, which I've reviewed on the channel before. Um, it has that apricot flavor, but it definitely has a candy nature. So it's natural or kind of has like, you know, the artificial kind of feel that you get in candy. And that's what I just got when I went back here. This is like Ithaca's apricot wheat, but in an IP form, because it does have a substantial hoppiness outside of, again, the peach and apricot. There are citrus notes. It's, it's zesty. Uh, it's pithy. Then there's a little bit of like a pine resin as well. A little bit of an underlying like bready caramel malt base as well. More bready than caramel though. Yeah, this smells to me like an old school American IPA with a blast of like a stone fruit vibe, your peach and apricot really, more to the apricot side of things. If I was doing this blind, I'd definitely say apricot because I know like, you know, peach gummy rings, uh, peach iced tea, like you buy like peach snapple iced tea, it has more of that like candy kind of peach uh, feel to it. Same thing with like peach gummy rings, they're candy. So, you know, it has that that candy peach as opposed to like a real fresh over ripened peach. That's kind of what I'm getting here is more candy vibe. It doesn't smell bad, it actually smells pretty good, but I was hoping for a little, little bit more of like a refreshing aromatic kind of feel to this one just because uh, of the fruit quality, but no, nah, not there. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, huh. it's not bad at all. It's just, I don't think, I don't think, I, it almost has too much of like that candied fruit vibe to it, to, for me personally. Body at 6.4, it's just like a higher side of medium. It almost has a slight syrupy kind of tinge to it, which might be off-putting for someone trying to get, you know, a, buy a 6.5% basically, you know, IPA. It's like higher side of medium. It's a little bit big. Good friend of mine, fellow beer tuber, Paul over at PA Brew News. I don't think he'd say this is a bit thin. Let's be honest, he would. But um, I, th I for the ABV, it's not thin at all. Body, it's crisp. 
has good carbonation, but it's really smooth on the palate. And it's somewhat, like they said, the, the mouthfeel, I think they said silky smooth um, or soft. It's not necessarily soft, but it does have a smooth, almost creamy-like nature. It's almost like a New England style IPA, but like a little bit more of a bump in the carbonation. So the body mouthfeel are really nice in this. The taste, however, it's, put it this way, if you like candied peach or candied apricot or sweeter candied flavors, confectionery flavors, uh, when it comes to those fruits, I think you'd like this, especially if you like hot forward beers. Because right at the tip of the tongue, first thing I get actually is orange or tangerine. It's zesty, it's pithy, a touch of the juice, but it's more bittering from those citrus components. Um, that's what I get right at the tip of the tongue. Right after that though, waves of the peach and the apricot, peach gummy rings, um, we'd say, we'll say like, like maybe like freeze dried apricots, just sweeter, like more condensed sweetness to the apricot that, that hits me right af after that. That's the first half of the palate underneath though. There's a nice like bready kind of malt character kind of propping all those flavors up. Second half of the palate has this slight pine floral resiny kind of hop tone finishes slightly dry but this honestly has a decent bitterness to it like a decent punch of bitterness it's like mild to moderate more approaching moderate it's not like an old school like west coast ip or even american ip where you get like a firm punch of bitterness but there's enough there to kind of break up the monotony of all that sweetness at the front of the palate it balances it out to some degree so it's not overly sweet it's not cloying here's the thing is this a bad beer to me personally it's not would this be something i buy again probably not Here's the problem I have with it personally. We'll go over it. This is like the 10th time I said this. The fruit flavors are too uh, much of the candied slash artificial type of variety for me personally. That's what I'm getting. Maybe you pick this up, you drink this, and you're like, dude, I'm totally getting like fresh overripened peach and, and just ripe apricot and stuff. I'm not. I'm getting candied peach and apricot. And that is the predominant note on the palate. You don't get it right away. Like I don't get it instantly, but once it hits my palate, it kind of dominates the palate. And it brings this, you know, candied sweetness to it where I'm going to drink the rest of this bottle because it's fine, but I wouldn't session this. And for 6.4%, I think you kind of want a sessionable IPA. And I don't think this is that beer for me. I do like, though, that it is almost moderately bitter. And it's building up with each sip, too. There's a nice bitterness on the back of the palate. It's not overly done, um, but... I wish it was maybe even more bitter to kind of stop the sweetness because the sweetness, again, it's not cloying, it's not overbearing, it's just, it's too candied, too confectionery, sugary, as opposed to just like a nice, like malt sweetness. So um, I can't say anything really bad about this one. Like it's not a drain pour, it's not a bad beer, it's nothing negative. It's just not one of my favorites from Victory. So um, I'm going to give Fruitful IPA from Victory, one of their newest winter releases, uh, the best I can probably do on this beer is a high 3.5. I'll go 3.55. Why? Because, I, again, I, if someone handed this, let's, let's say I was at a winter party uh, or hangout or something, and, and somebody had this in their grasps, and they, you know, I had a six-pack of it or they had a case of it or whatever, and they're like, hey, you want one of those? I'd be like, sure, and I'd drink it, and I'd be like, that's fine. I wouldn't want another, though. And that's kind of where I leave this one. So 3.55 out of 5 for this. Uh, price point availability, I got this in the mixed six-pack. Those are $12.99, a six-pack, so just over two bucks uh, a bottle. But I think actual six-packs of this are cheaper. I think they're like uh, 12 bucks a six-pack. So you're talking about two bucks a bottle. It's a fun beer to try. I would definitely recommend if you can get a single of this, grab it for sure. I don't know about an entire six-pack, though. And availability, wherever you see Victory, you should see them. Although here in the Buffalo, New York area, when it comes to Victory stuff, very hit or miss, especially for being able to like grab singles nowadays. Um, I got, again, this and the cold front, which I'll be reviewing later this month, in the mixed six pack location at Wegmans. I think they had uh, four packs of the cold front and six packs of this, but I didn't even see this at a couple other beer stores I went to. So I don't know. Um, your mileage, your mileage, your mileage, your mileage, English. Uh, may vary depending upon what bottle shop or beer store you go to, where your location. If you get like their most of their seasonals, you should see this at some point. So yeah, I mean, 6.4% too, can't really tell. I think the best thing about this beer is the body mouthfeel though. It's really nice. And like I said, they say it has a light sweetness. I think it's a little bit more than light. A lush and pillowy mouthfeel. I wouldn't say lush and pillowy, but it's definitely pretty good, uh, especially for something that looks like this. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. I think it's pretty good. I have a sneaking suspicion that I will enjoy their cold front IPA a little bit more, but we'll see. Anyway, appreciate it. Till the next one. Cheers.